walk tour of Nepal and we're right by the river these people usually pick these things over here I don't know what it is it's like a flower maybe for the blessing you can see the lady is picking them there and we're right here on the river so this is called the Dobi Kola River so many people take blessings from these trees all the time and this river goes into the Bagmati River and this bridge here you can see it's a black bridge painted black and that's the exact name it's called the it's written right there I always say so it says Kalo Po so I guess over here is like a main street that will go all the way down you know through towards the center of Kathmandu so these main streets is where they put the bridges on we have the tuk tuks guys that just park here and wait guys and gals which is cool so got female drivers too you know mostly you see like all guys driving the taxis here's the water again and basically you know they have everything built up over here you know, this is the main road, guys. So, these new buildings coming up. And you definitely want to try to stay or live close to a main road type of area in Kathmandu. But if not, it's going to be like such a dead zone. No people. The trees are really nice along the river here. I really like this walk. Just follow this river all the way. Going straight ahead. Some guys drinking beers over here in the car ice. Each one of these pillars have, you know, trees growing out of them, which is really cool, I think. And uh, you can walk pretty much wherever you want over here. No one really says anything. A lot of people actually walk on this side, close to the river. It's just better. I don't know, over there, there's always... The street is so narrow over there. And they have some street dogs over here, guys. Some of these dogs are actually, like, owned by the people. How you doing? Namaste! Just looking at the dogs. So nice. These are house dogs or these are street dogs? This is house dog, right? Yeah, I could tell. Sometimes they have the collar. You can tell the difference between the street dog and the house dog. You know? <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks a lot, all right? Very friendly. See, there's another one, house dog, guys. So you can tell the difference usually, but sometimes you can't really tell. But those ones, I guess, were actually house dogs. Alright guys, there's, I thought there was a dog over here, but it's actually a dude just sleeping. Maybe we should just check it on. You okay, brother? You good? You okay? Bro? Thank you, namaste. Make sure he's breathing, guys, because he looked like he was not breathing for a second. I think some of the guys have a little bit of alcohol problem. So they're just going to be passed out on the street like that. Sometimes you even see people like laying with their legs in the street which is crazy and dangerous because they can obviously get run over. All right, guys. All right, guys, here's another cool shop. We just have chickens over here. They're so calm right now. Look pretty good, actually. This is the Garelu Meat Center. These guys deliver all to all the shops over here. This is a big one. And these guys just deliver on the bike. They're like tricycle, but they deliver only snacks. And they just stop at all the shops and deliver snacks. Here's a small bridge. Other than those main bridges, you cannot drive across. These small bridges are throughout the river. And these are the only way, you know, you can, the only way you can cross in between is on foot. So if you're driving and you get a cab in between the two bridges, they're gonna have to go all the way down to get to the other side. So make sure you get a cab rather get the cab at the bridge and call it in between the bridge there's a cab right here guys everybody's on their way home to lunch to work whatever it's like 12 30 right now all right guys here's the trash this is where they separate the trash from the recycle these 
little bicycle trucks or little trash can trucks, pickups. They bring it here and they sort it all out. To the next bridge, Rockwell Pool. We got some crows over here. I guess they're waiting to go through the trash, find the food that people left. There's a pile over here. There's some more piles. It looks like maybe this is the recycling. All right, guys. There's a big tower here, and there's another trash collection site over here. You can see it's almost like a dump. I think that they basically bring the trash here, and maybe they let it. Uh, disintegrate but you can see the guys are going through it over here so it's pretty cool that's why they ask us to separate our trash because it makes it easier for them when they have to go through it over here this is a little bit further down it's the same river yeah guys this is kind of like the trash place over here so make sure you separate your trash you come to catch me do because it makes it a lot easier for them I like trash trucks over here. They keep doing it. Alright guys, I found something else that's pretty cool. This is a small uh, little farm over here. Actually, they have cows in here. So I guess they make dairy. And you can see over here, guys, the cows are over here. There's some cows in there. It's pretty cool. Oh, lychee. And you have, you have flour too. Those are the flowers from the lychee. Okay. Thank you. No, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One, one kilo. Try it. Mango. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, let's go. All right, guys, this is lychee over here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. There it is, guys. No, I just tried it. You want me to buy some? It tastes good. All right, he's getting me to buy it, so. He wants me to buy it, I guess I'll buy it. What's the right price? What's the right price on it? How much is it? One kilo. How much? 300. 300? He's selling 300. Per kilo? Per kilo. Is that foreigner price or local's price? Uh, is that for, uh, BDC price? Is this the price that you would pay? Uh, this is not the price we would pay. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Thank you. <laughs> I can't do it. Thank you. He's trying to rip me off. 300. Oh man, no, he said this is not the price we would pay. I can't do it. I'm not gonna do it, bro. All right, guys, so we're back on the main road over here. I just wanted to show you guys. Namaste, can I see it? This guy is sharpening here. He's got the thing, the ticky. Thank you. It's cool, man. That's a sharpener. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, sharpening technique. All right, guys, thank you. So, yeah, that's the old school method of sharpening over there, guys. There's a couple of things I've seen on my day today. Uh, famous Momo spot. You can see all the Momo huh? This is the veg tray. Very good food. Tastes great. Like a wheat loop. You guys all over the place you see that people are getting tickets over here i don't know what he was going wrong but they're, they're gonna stop him you write him out a ticket he was probably going did a wrong turn or something it's pretty crazy that's right massive tickets all day over here all right guys we got the car ordered so you can see here this is the pickup app and the car the Bicycle, the motorbike is on its way. You just have to wait. Usually they call you right here. Here's the public transit. So it gets nice and packed. And the conductor guy is right here. Collects the money. I think it costs 30 rupees to get wherever you're going on this bus. Just a flat rate. And this bus will take you there. There's more traffic police, guys. They got somebody. Looks like they got somebody stopped over here, too. His bike is on the side, it looks like. So I'm just going to pop this bike over here, not to confiscate it even. Right over here. Sometimes they put the lock on the back. You know, maybe I should cancel that. This He's down there. This is a one-way street. All right, guys. So we had to cancel that one because the other guy took way too long. We had to cancel that one because the other guy took way too long. Here's the driver right now. So once they get your ride, they always call you. This is him right now. Namaste. 
So you just hop on. Sometimes here. you see on the map they're not moving. And then he wasn't moving, wasn't moving. And I think a lot of these guys are using two different apps at the same time. And probably he had that other app. I didn't tell him. I just, when he picked up, I didn't tell him. I didn't bother him. I just said, I just hung up. He said, oh, I came from a long way. But on the map it showed he wasn't moving probably because he wasn't, he had the app. Yes, yes. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, let me focus on what I'm doing. I won't confuse the driver. 